Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects approximately 7.5 million people in the U.S. Carrie Duncan spoke with board-certified dermatologist Dr. Bruce Strober and Nikita Chopra, who lives with this disease. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We have Dr. Bruce Strober and uh, Nitika here with us, Nitika Chopra, to talk a little bit about plaque psoriasis. So uh, Dr. Uh, Strober, we want to start with you and just give the basics to our audience. What is plaque psoriasis? Plaque psoriasis is a chronic skin condition. Um, it affects about 7.5 million Americans. And about a third of those patients have what's called moderate severe plaque psoriasis. Um, it's important to note that plaque psoriasis involves scaly red or pink plaques or patches that can appear anywhere on the body, scalp, arms, legs, trunk, anywhere on the body. And variably, it can be 1% of the body, it could be 80% of the body, it depends on the person or the time in their life, the year, um, even you know the time of year can flare the disease or make it back up. But all patients with psoriasis will generally complain that the plaques are embarrassing. They shed scale flakes anywhere and everywhere they go, home, work, and they can be itchy. Um, the itch can be very intractable. It can be very annoying and they can be painful, these plaques. They can be sore. Um, so patients with psoriasis not only have the appearance, but also the symptoms of a skin condition that affects them negatively, not only at home, but also at work affecting you know, their professional lives, their personal lives, their family lives. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of Bristol-Myers Squibb today and a part of an initiative called Clear Understanding that's bringing to light a, a therapy called Sotictu or Ducravacitinib that is an option for patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are 18 years of age or older. Okay, well, and this leads us to Nitika. Uh, when did you first start having some of the problems with plaque psoriasis? Sure, yeah, when I was actually quite young, I first saw a small spot of dry skin on my left arm and I sort of thought, oh, you know, this is a little annoying, but I didn't think much of it. And my mom ended up taking me to the dermatologist and I got a skin biopsy and the doctor did diagnose me with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Oh, wow. How, and I, yeah, I was gonna say, how has that affected you then? Oh my gosh, it has affected me in so many different ways. And I think one of the biggest things is that a lot of times people look at psoriasis as just a skin condition. And it's really so much more than that. It caused me to have a lot of low self-esteem, a lot of insecurities. I was bullied, I was teased. It really caused me to kind of shake my self-confidence, which is why I'm so honored to be a part of the Clear Understanding campaign and be here on behalf of Bristol Myers Squibb today because it is important that people know they're not alone. And those stigmas that we all face that can make us feel isolated or wanna hide, it doesn't have to be that way. So they can visit clear-understanding.com to see what I'm talking about and hear from other patients going through the same thing. Well, thank you both so much for joining us and giving us this great information. Nitika and Bruce, uh, you have a great week. Thank you so much for having us. You too, take care, thank you.